Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I'm coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. Um, in my last video, I told you that I was going to be uh, filming in these individual buildings in their own part as I paint. Well, in this video, we're gonna we're gonna paint the farmhouse, right? The manor house. Um, and what I plan to do is take a uh, what what color is this? Choco brown, which I think is chocolate brown, and I'm gonna paint um, all the wood frame of this building. This is gonna take a hot minute because there's quite a bit of a frame. But I'm not trying to be perfect because I am going to fix it in a later step. Okay, so I'm just basically there's the under gable area, and then wherever there is a wooden frame, I'm going to paint it with this. Chocolate brown, not rocket science. Uh, and it will go over. I don't mind if it goes over because I plan to fix that in a later step. All right, so let me go ahead and paint all the frame and then I'll be right back. All right, so we got the wooden frame on all four sides, windows, doors, everything is set. So I'm going to let this dry a bit, and then once it's dry, we'll come back and work on the next step. All right, we are back. We are going to be painting our manor house, farmhouse, uh, or continuing on. I've decided I want to go ahead and do the roof, and I've decided to do this roof in Necromancer's Cloak. Now we're going to make sure that we hit these areas that are exposed, obviously. And it's going right on top of that blue pretty easily. It's okay if I get it on the chimney because I haven't painted the chimney yet. Okay, I'm going to have to put two coats. I might have thinned this down a little bit too far. Because I can still see the blue coming through. Paying particular attention not to get it on the wood frame. Now I'm going to get the underside up under here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over it. Maybe I can. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think I can get underneath the other side, but it looks like I can. Second touch-up coat. Hitting the areas that I can see the blue shining through. Okay, we're going to let that dry before we move on to the next step. All right, guys, we are back with the manor house uh, you'll notice that i have painted the foundation gray and i painted a couple of the windows uh different colors just to give it a stained glass look effect i'm still going to paint the windows gray uh, but right now what i'm doing is i'm using beige and i'm going into the panels and i'm going to paint them up uh, now, this is a very meticulous process because I don't want to get, I don't want to paint the wood frame at all. So now by doing this, or I should say the amount of time that it's going to take me to do this, it's probably going to be about 30 minutes. So uh, I know you don't want to sit here and just sit here and watch me paint these panels for the next 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to edit the video fast forward until all the panels are painted and then I'll be right back all right so we got the beige stucco all done uh, well it's not done it's it's base coated um, that took a little bit longer than 30 minutes it's actually took me about 45 minutes uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that off to the side we're gonna let it dry we still have a few more steps before I'm satisfied with this guy all right so I'll see you in just a minute all right we're continuing on with our manor house here and I'm in this step painting the chimney cap black brown I'm using the MIG black brown from their Atom line I think Vallejo's German camo black brown is a little bit darker than this uh, but I wanted it to look grimy and dirty and uh, a little sooty from the smoke that might be coming out of the top of it all right so there's the end cap for the chimney and I'm gonna move on this I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll be right back all right so we're gonna continue on with our farmhouse and I'm gonna be using dark gray or dunkle gray uh, it's part of their atom line uh, I'm gonna be using it in their windows um, inside these windows and not the ones that were stained like the red and the green windows now I plan to use like a silver um, on the windows as well to give with like little dots of, of, of reflective uh, but I'm gonna have to do that um, after this dark gray dries and I think I want to do that after I put my wash on here let me do these windows um, with the dark gray and then I'll be right back to let you see what it looks like all right so we got all the windows darkened up you know makes makes the building look a lot better already just with those dark windows all right one of the next steps is going to be washing so uh i'm going to let this dry before we start washing and then i'll be right back four o'clock okay all right we're going to work on this farmhouse with a dark gray wash and the dark gray wash is really just going on the roof just to really bring out the details of all those tiles laser cut into the roof all right basically I'm just slathering it on now what I'm using is dark gray from Vallejo now we're gonna have to let this wash sit and dry for a time and it's been my experience that washes take a little bit extra time to dry so I'm going to set that off to the side, I'm going to let it dry, and then we'll move on with the next step. All right, we're back with the finished product of the farmhouse. Uh, now in this farmhouse, you'll note that um, I did do a natural steel, uh, kind of a, a very light dry brush 
inside these windows so you can kind of see that it gives it kind of a metallic not a metallic like a like a glassy look right um, I also applied a little bit of this dry rust effect to the chimney top um, at the same time I went ahead and applied a dark wash over the entire model it, even the uh, paneling and the roof and the doors uh, just so you can bring out all those details in the in the wood right so that's why I use the dark wash and then I uh, came back over it with this ultra matte to kind of reduce the sheen uh, but it's still the uh, the metallic still has a pretty good sheen to it I mean just enough that if it's on the gaming table, you'd see a, a good looking model. Now, I didn't put any moss or vines or anything growing up the chimney or anything like that. I felt like um, this would be a model that would sit inside of a town sector that could be picked up and moved. Um, so it's kind of a clean model. And it, it's a little dirty in the, in the, in the stucco, but uh, it's clean in the fact that there's no vegetation so vegetation will add quite a bit to it but I'm not I if I did something I might put it up the corner maybe a little bit or maybe in between the the cracks between the uh, wall and the, the chimney maybe uh, but I, I don't think it needs it I think this model looks pretty good as it sits Right now, I'm doing a whole bunch of, I'm doing a whole series of Sarissa buildings for my Napoleonics Quattro Bra game. So be sure to check all those videos out, and I'll catch you in the next one.